What's good guys? We see some sick setups when it comes to boxing gyms at home. So today, we're gonna give you a couple different examples of how to set up your gym at home. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the Fight Camp channel. So now let's get to it. Woo! So let's talk about the flooring because the flooring can make and break your training. What floors should you not use? You should never use carpet. You should never use hardwood floor and you should not use concrete. Why should you not use carpet? Because carpet, your feet can get stuck. Why should you never use hardwood floor? When you drip from sweat and you will sweat in fight camp, you will slip. And why not concrete? Concrete has no give. It puts a lot of pressure on your knees and your body. But the best floor for you to train on comes with the Fight Camp Gym. And we're about to set it up for you right now. All right now, let's talk about how to put the puzzle mat together. Now, if you're not used to putting a puzzle together, you're gonna have some problems. This mat is an eight by 10. Is it eight by 10 or eight by two? Eight by two, <laughs> eight, eight by, <laughs> thank you, eight by two. <laughs> the one thing we were repeating the whole time. Eight by two. <laughs> This mat is eight by two, so it gives you enough room to hit your bag so when you hit the floor to do setups, when you do push-ups, when you do burpees, when you do mountain climbers, you have enough room to do all that. The nice thing about these mats too is they're super durable so you can lift weights on them. A lot of the traditional martial arts mats, you can't really drop weights on them because it will ruin the mat. So these are great, it's multifunctional. You want to make sure the mat is completely flush to the floor, nice and flat so you're not snagging your toes. And what else is good on here is if you don't have a bed and you want to get some sleep. Oh, I thought you were going to go somewhere else. No, that. no, man. <laughs> no. I'm talking about this is enough cushion. Go to sleep. Flo will sleep anywhere. Now that we got the mat set up, let's talk about the heavy bag, all right? So you got a few different things you want to consider when you're buying a heavy bag. One, what's your space like? A lot of people like to hang the bag, but like drywall like this, you can't hang a heavy bag. So a freestanding bag is your best bet. Two, what style of training are you doing? If you're kickboxing, you don't want a boxing bag because you can't practice low kicks. So you want a full length bag, okay? So that's really important. And lastly, let's talk about price. If you buy a cheap bag, it's not gonna last long. When you hit it, it's gonna knock over. It's like a real pain in the butt. So try to find a bag that's durable and affordable. And if you still have trouble finding a bag, just check out these links and find out how dope the Fight Camp bag really is. So here it is. This is a Fight Camp bag. It comes with three pieces. We got the bag ring that prevents the bag from flying all over the place. We have the base that will show you how to fill. And we have the bag itself. So we're gonna show you how to set this bad boy up. Let's get right into it, shall we? Uh -huh. All right, so check it out. We got the base in the middle of the bag ring. So now we gotta fill this bad boy. People tend to use water because it's easier, but trust me, use sand. It's gonna make this rock solid if this bag's not gonna go anywhere. You really want to get dry sand. Do not get wet sand. If you get wet sand, it will get clogged up. You want dry sand so it can just go right smooth in there. It goes shh. All right, sweet, so it's full now. So we just screw it on, we're good to go. So we take this bad boy, it's not too heavy, place it right on the center. Now it's really important that once you get the bag on, that this part goes over the lips. It's very important because if you want your bag to function and be the best that it can be for, for the fight camp, you really want it to get over the lips. So we're all strapped up, we're good to go. Now let's have some fun. Flo, you want to show them how it's done? Yeah, I got it, babe. Trill it. Trill it. Trill it. And time. This was supposed to be your recovery day. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now let's just talk about the wraps. Why are the wraps very important? The wraps are very important to protect your knuckles so you don't scar your knuckles and mess your knuckles up. What is wraps good for too? They're good to, to protect your wrist. So when you're hitting the bag, you have cushion, you have something to keep your wrist strong. And what else is wraps good for? They keep the smell from your gloves. And Aaron's gonna tell you a little bit more about that. 
A lot of times people don't wear wraps with their gloves. That's fine, but your gloves are not gonna last as long because they're gonna start to smell. Once the gloves start to smell, there's no going back, right? So we wanna prevent it. Now, on the Fight Camp community, I see some sick setups. People hang their gloves like this on racks. To prevent that, the air is the gloves out. Also, we have uh, glove deodorizers, which will keep your gloves smelling real fresh. Um, everybody in the family that does Fight Camp should have their own pair of wraps and gloves. Now, these are traditional boxing wraps, but sometimes people don't know how to put these on. Aaron, tell people about the quick wraps. For new boxers, I really prefer the quick wraps because teaching people how to wrap their hands with traditional wraps takes time. It's kind of the pain in the butt when you throw it in the washer, it comes, it comes out like a big bundle and you gotta unknot it. It's a headache. These quick wraps are easy breezy. So check it out, a couple things. This is unique to the Fight Camp wrap is I have this slot here. So I put the tracker right in the slot. Remember, these trackers is what's gonna connect you to the leaderboard and it's gonna track your data so you can see your progress as a boxer. Simple enough, right? All I do is I take this, I wrap it around, and I'm good to go. These are easy to wash and they're easy to maintain. The Fight Camp wraps is the way to go. Oh. So let's talk about the most important thing. I learned this as a young age, and that's keeping your gym clean. Why is that very important? Because it, give, it gives you discipline. It keeps you motivated, and it makes your equipment last longer. That's why it's very important to clean your fight camp gym. All right, brother, are you done now? Yes, it's your turn. Okay, thank you, sir. Few things that you want lying around the gym. You want a broom, you want a mop or a Swiffer, and you want Lysol to keep your gloves fresh. That's it. Keep your dojo clean. You can customize your gym any way you want, okay? So I prefer some of the items that come in the Fight Camp Conditioning Kit. For instance, we have these weighted hand wraps. Great for conditioning your shoulders and conditioning your punch muscles. Also, we have a speed ladder. Awesome for footwork and agility. We have a jump rope. Every boxer needs to learn how to jump rope for cardio and timing and rhythm. And my favorite, the massaging recovery ball. Okay, this is great for self myofascial release, working out the muscles, work out the knots in the muscles rather. That feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so check out the Fight Camp Conditioning Kit. So we went over all the basics. Fight Camp makes it so easy. So let us know where you're gonna set up your home gym and let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We wanna see your home gym, so tag us on Instagram. And if you're interested in taking your fitness to the next level, definitely check out Fight Camp, and I'll see you on the leaderboard. Thanks, guys.